Hello and welcome to Favorite Rugby on Favorite Sport for today's World Rugby Rankings Review. After a very interesting weekend, uh, we saw not too many games happening, but there's still a little bit of movement and more to the point, it's sort of opened up a couple of doors for a few spaces that could swap in the coming weeks as we enter our last couple of weeks of Rugby World Cup warm-up matches. We saw a scintillating encounter between France and Scotland with France narrowly edging Scotland. Uh, would have been very big if Scotland actually were to have beaten them. Um, although Scotland can't really sort of close in too much on the top four. They're about four, uh, almost five points, ranking points behind the top four. Um, but uh, could, have, could have definitely sort of uh, reined them in whilst uh, the, the France ranking is starting to drop, which uh, presents potential opportunity for the Springboks ahead of this weekend. Uh, England as well, uh, managing to, to stay in their place whilst uh, the Wales defeat um, has seen them fall. Uh, quite low as well. Before we look at the rankings and exactly what uh, we could be looking at in the next couple of weeks, please do smash a like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Um, this is what they're currently looking like. Right, so as you can see, Ireland's still number one. We knew they were going to be number one. We knew New Zealand, um, well, New Zealand were potentially under threat from, from France, but that uh, France needed a much bigger victory uh, to really sort of put pressure on them. So the big news actually is if you're South African, is if you looked at, at, at a week ago, and I can go show you what it was on the 7th of August. Uh, France was sitting with an 89.00 ranking point, and they are now sitting on a 89.2 uh, ranking point. So they have risen, as you would imagine, I mean, having beaten the fifth in the world, but uh, are not massively out of touch from South Africa. Uh, the biggest problem with South Africa, though, is that when it comes to these world rankings, it kind of all depends on who you play against. And we are playing against Wales this weekend, who have slipped down to nine. Absolutely dreadful times uh, for Wales rugby. Although, I must admit, I think watching the game this weekend, I think, personally, as a Wales fan, I wouldn't be overly concerned about where things are. I actually saw quite a lot of reasons to be quite positive about it, despite losing to England in such ridiculous circumstances. A pretty inexperienced Welsh side, at times, looked very good. And I thought a couple of players did stand up. Uh, stand up. So, uh, if you look at uh, yeah, the biggest fallers were Wales, and if we could show the full table... Um, uh, USA have fallen down to 18th um, and Uruguay have actually gone up to 17th. So that's been a bit of movement there, but that was really the only movement apart from that. Fiji has moved up to 9th, Wales down to 10th. So now as we go into sort of the last two weeks, all these teams start playing again. You know, um, South Africa will take on New Zealand in two weeks, which will be a big opportunity for South Africa to try and close in on France. Uh, Ireland sort of get back into action, France get back into action. So this top four could still move around a little bit. Ireland have got a reasonable, comfortable, um, you know, uh, lead at the top there, but um, France, New Zealand also a bit of a distance, but the South Africa France, you know, being separated um, by by not much at, at the end of the day. So that could very much change in, in the coming weeks. Um, and I think if you look apart from that, England, Argentina, Australia could all be moving around quite a lot. Uh, so I don't think we're going to see a lot of movement. I said, if we, if we look back at, uh, at like, for example, if we go back to 31st of July, um, France has, has actually dropped a bit and South Africa have risen. Um, so we are sort of closing in on, on, on third in South Africa. Uh, Scotland have risen quite a lot um, because of that beat France two weeks ago. Um, and uh, Wales have also dropped down there. And Fiji have actually been steadily climbing, which is quite cool to see. So not that these rankings mean a hell of a lot right now, given the fact that we've got a World Cup happening in, in a couple of weeks' time. But uh, it is just interesting seeing how competitive these five sides are. Um, Scotland on the ranking system being well below the rest of the four, but reality on the pitch this weekend we're, we're in toe to toe with France, and, and at times even looked the better team. And yet we got you know the three on the same side of the draw. So it's a frustrating, it's a frustrating time. We know that the draw is frustrating. I think you know the more that the closer we get, the more ridiculous that whole sort of draw does start to look. Um, but yeah, that's how the ranks currently look like. We will have a preview coming in this weekend with regards to what can sort of happen. As I said, a lot more teams in action. Some of the nations are really sort of getting back to sort of full uh, schedule. We've got about five or six games, I think, happening on Saturday. Lots of warm games across. And then next weekend as well, before there's a weekend off, and then we get into the Rugby World Cup. So just two more weekends where there can be movement, um, and then we head into the World Cup, where we'll have our final rankings. Uh, let me know what you think. Can South Africa move into the World Cup in the third position? Uh, France have lost from an intermac. They've also lost a little by. Uh, South Africa playing Wales, which, which will not present a lot of opportunity, apart from the fact that they're playing away. It was the only opportunity, well, the only thing that kind of sort of slightly plays in their favour. But playing against a team so, you know, ranked so below will, will not help our, our chances. But playing against New Zealand, however, could very much help our chances of trying to move into that third place as we go into the World Cup, if that's even relevant and matters to you. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Smash a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Stephen. I'll chat to you soon.